Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Winter time and thinking about gardening, it makes perfect sense because this is the time when you can read and plan for the garden that you want to have in the future. Whether you're thinking about beginning a garden, maybe you want to even take up homesteading, or you want to improve on the garden that you have. I have a document here from the 1940s. It's called the Have More Plan, and it's a basic guide to homesteading in your actual yard, on your property. Now they're designing this around a simple one acre lot. Most of us don't have anything near that, but it's a great beginner document that teaches you all kinds of topics that can lead you to having a bigger and better garden, becoming more self-sufficient, self-reliant, and it can just really spark an imagination. Who knows, you may even become a homesteader. Let's look through the Have More plan and see what kind of ideas that maybe you have that you would want to start a garden or think about homesteading or improve on the property that you have. Many of us might have a heritage that comes from farming or homesteading. And even if you haven't, it's interesting to learn about what it means to provide for yourself. This book was written in the 40s by Ed and Carolyn Robinson, and it's something that you can even go onto the internet and print it off for free. Just look for the Have More Plan. It's got all kinds of topics inside, everything from buying a place in the country, laying out a homestead, remodeling or building, part-time farm pays for itself, a good garden with less work, building a small barn, earning money in the country, fruit trees and berries, fish ponds in your backyard, and starting right with poultry, rabbits, milk goats, cows, bees, etc. As you flip through the Have More plan, you can see it's lined up in all kinds of great topics. You can tell this is written years ago because chapter two is a letter to wives. It just shows you how far our culture has come since the 1940s. This is 80 years ago. They start off with their story, why they moved to the country, and tips on homesteading if you have a full-time job, if you have a part-time job, or if you're planning to retire. And if you're not interested in that, go ahead and skip this section. They have tips and tricks on how to find property, what kind of places you could find, what kind of property you might search for, and ideas of how to set up your property for a homestead, where to place your garden, and how you can incorporate it into your ideal homestead. What to look for if you're actually searching for a homestead property. Different things from water, sanitation, to electricity and roads. The part of this plan that's probably the most useful to most of us is the way they show you how to landscape your property so that it can become productive. It shows you here's your yard, here's your house, where to put your production areas, and over time you can have your lawn, have your vegetables, your orchard, and see then you can develop it a little at a time into a full-blown homestead type property. There's a checklist for topics to make your homestead better and even plans for building a barn. They talk about the importance of raising part of your food, which many of us know that we need good, healthy meals. We need good, natural, healthy foods. The best foods that we can possibly get are gonna provide us with the most nutrition, which are gonna help us last the healthiest, the longest. Tips on gardening with less work. We always want everything with less work. They even include tips on fighting insects, and a vegetable planting chart. How many rows you might want, how far apart to plant them, the depth to plant them, how many seeds you need, and so on. And what you need to remember though, wherever you live, you want to find out what your zone is and plant things that are appropriate for your zone that are going to grow where you live. There's information about growing herbs, different kinds of berries and grapes, which these are so simple they practically just grow themselves. You just need to do some pruning and some picking. They come back year after year. Ways to have fruit trees if you have a small place. So even if you have a tiny yard, there might be room for you to have some fruit trees. How to get eggs from your own chickens. 
how to raise meat chickens, and even how to harvest your chickens. How to raise geese, how to raise turkeys, ducks, squab, rabbits, and how to build a rabbit hutch, all the different special kinds of homes that these would want. Now most of us are probably not going to be raising pigs for ham, bacon, pork, and lard. But if you wanted to, there's even information for that and how to build a sanitary pig pen and even a miniature dairy. If you wanted a family cow or even a goat, you could find that information in this document how to feed your animals, how to milk your animals, time saving for your running your place. There's a lot of information here on all different kinds of livestock, everything from building their shelters, safe fences, how to build a beehive, and even information on how to extract the honey out of your hive. Gives you tips on how to build a root cellar, help your produce last longer, tips on the freezer and canning, and even how to make your own dehydrator. If you want to begin your garden early in the spring, it shows you how to build a cold frame, a hot bed, a simple greenhouse. And if you have access to a pond, there's even information on raising your own fish. Looking to harvest your own firewood? This is hilarious. Look at the transportation and power. Look at these old tractors and jeeps and cars. These are great. This document even has information on how to do simple home repairs. How to fix things. How to lay out a wood shop. How to stock your tools. Simple plumbing repairs. The bare necessities of the things that you want. And how you could even turn your homestead into earning money living in the country. With the changes that we've had during 2020, when people are working from home, they're being able to relocate to more rural areas. You don't have to report to work in your office, so maybe you can move out of the city. And this is so interesting because this was written after World War II, and they called it Let's Rebuild America, which is amazing because that's one of the things that we're working on in America in 2021. The Have More Plan, A Little Land, A Lot of Living, is a good basic read on all different kinds of topics to see if you're interested in gardening or homesteading. And remember, just like anything else, you do it a little at a time. You start with where you are, with what you have, with the basic tools and skills that you have, and as you work at it, you progress, you will get better and better. It isn't a read one book and you're an expert. It takes many years of developing your garden, your homestead, your skills until you can really become successful and learn to be able to raise some crops. And then guess what? You can share those skills and the bounty of your harvest with your family members. So it's an enjoyable time to work outdoors, get some fresh air, provide some food, and spend some time teaching those you love to continue with this important skill. There's a lot of things we can learn about gardening, becoming more self-reliant, self-sufficient. So look over things like the Have More Plan. Look at other books about gardening, homesteading, farming, even just growing herbs in pots on a balcony or a windowsill. Any little bit that you can do to help provide a little more of the food and sustenance that you need can be helpful in a lot of ways helping you be more prepared to take care of yourself while eating the freshest foods possible. If you liked my video I hope you'll share it with someone else who might enjoy it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.